<laughs> you and I, eight years? Really? <laughs> Laura, you've been, you've been sticking around. <laughs> oh, you still keep me, that's a good thing. <laughs> really, Charles just the hands back there. Yeah, I'm not going to say <laughs> Julie. I'm the chief mixologist at the drawing room in Chicago. Uh, we have uh, one of the finest cocktail programs, I think, in the city. Uh, all handcrafted ingredients. Uh, do a lot of classic drinks as well as some great culinary originals. Uh, use the freshest ingredients possible. Spend as much time at the farmer's market as, uh, as I can do, except in the middle of winter, which we're pretty much stuck with root vegetables, so you got to get a little bit more creative. Um, using uh, one of my favorite uh, gentlemen here today from Templeton Rye, one of my favorite spirit categories. Uh, and I, I love to see the revival of it. Uh, great for you know, the original American whiskey, uh, for sure. And we see it in all the, the great classics as the go-to spirit. So I love to mix with the TR. I think we're, we were on the bandwagon real early. Uh, definitely, my friends and I have planted it in bars uh, by demand. So it's. Uh, it's a, it's a great spirit with a great history to it, and uh, make some good cocktails with it. We're going to uh, make our House Manhattan, we call it the Drawing Room Manhattan. Uh, seemingly a simple classic cocktail, but uh, it, there's a lot of nuance to it and balance that we look at. Uh, it's one of uh, the only drinks that stayed on every incarnation of our menu as we change seasonally six to seven times a year. Uh, the Manhattan has always stayed at the top and remained the most popular cocktail here. So, start off most important and probably the most overlooked part of the Manhattan and that is the ice. You know, a lot of times we forget that the water we're adding when we're shaking a cocktail or when we're stirring a cocktail in this case is going to change the overall complexity in the finished product. We've got a really nice French sweet vermouth and then we've got the TR. One minute. And this, uh, there are a lot of rides on the market, and the reason I chose Templeton for our house Manhattan is for a couple reasons. Uh, we have a magnificent food program here at the drawing room, and I wanted to make sure all my cocktails remain food friendly. Uh, Templeton is a really well-rounded, and it lets all the ingredients in this cocktail speak. So you're not just drinking whiskey on the rocks. You can taste your rye, you can taste your sweet vermouth, and you can taste your aromatic bitters. And so. It's got a nice complexity to it. This is one of those cocktails that we stir, not shake. We just want to get the temp down, add a little bit of dilution to it without watering down the cocktail. If I didn't have these big cold draft cubes, this is a drink that I would serve up, not on the rocks. So it doesn't small or chip ice. We can end up with whiskey and water real quick. With a made in house classic maraschino cherry. And this is one of those ingredients that's fallen by the wayside. But in the days when Templeton was first produced, this is probably a little bit closer what these would have looked like. Not the bright red syrup mess that we find in the gallon jugs. If you can't find it, make it yourself and do it right.